Cheers. Cheers. What's up, travel dudes? My name is Greg Snell, and this week we are exploring Wallon Brabant, which is a province of Belgium. And our first stop on this four day expedition is in Louvain La Neuve. Our first stop in Le Vent, La Neuve is Alterez-vous restaurant, which is a bistro de terroir, which makes sustainable produce food. Welcome to Alterez-vous coffee place. So we are in Le Vent, La Neuve, and uh, our project exists for already eight years. And it's a place that uh, welcomes people from all over the world. And we work with fair trade products, local products. We have a very warm place, and uh, a lot of activities can be happening here, uh, along with very tasty food. And who's this? So this is my baby girl, Tina. <laughs> So the Alterevu is also a cafe where you can get a double espresso, espresso doppio or any kind of cafe latte or whatever and some sweets. And then if you really want, because you're in Belgium, you can get a beer as well. And the next stop is the Tintin Museum. Tintin was the cartoon little boy and there are stories written about him traveling the world solving mysteries with his little dog Miru. And it turns out that the uh, author of those stories and the artist was originally from this part of Belgium. Exploring the Hergé Museum in Le Vent, La Neuve, Belgium. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really cool to see the history of this artist's portrayal of comic books. It's not only Tintin, it's a lot of the earlier work as well. Uh, and he was just a creative soul throughout the, uh, the 20s and 30s into the late 60s. So very, very interesting uh, half day trip that you can do in the city. So that's it for the Hergé Museum and the history of Tintin. Very, very cool. And our tour of Leuven La Neuve continues here in Wallon Brabant. So I think we're going to meet up with Melvin, who also works with Travel Dudes, and yeah, walk around and see what else the city has in store. And here in the Tourism Information Center starts our city tour of Le Vent La Neuve. Vent la Neuve is a, a university city that was actually built in the early 1970s by a faction of uh, French-speaking Belgian people who are looking to create uh, a new urban center with uh, with like a classic design though to have a modern feel to it and they've succeeded it's absolutely amazing to uh, to explore this city whereas most of Europe has a really like rich historical culture this is a brand new city focused on uh, the university and the people who want to live here and call this place home. So very modern, very cool, lots of art, live music, great food.
uh, we are at the L Museum, so the University Museum, that display of the collections of the university. For me, what is very important is that, that we can feel the hospitality of this museum. So it is a, really a kind of floor, a special floor, which means that we, we are really a university a museum. We ask questions, even if we don't have the answer. The Museum L, which stands for Museum Louvain, uh, here in the city. And this is actually opening to the public in November. So we're very lucky to get like a sneak peek behind the scenes. And I'm allowed to film the architecture because it's really beautiful. But I'm not allowed to film any of the individual pieces because they want to keep it a surprise for you guys if you're planning on visiting here. So very, very cool. It is. A pretty stunning piece of architecture anyway. Uh, really, really wavy concrete and they're using brass on the ceilings and really quite uh, intricate, but lots of little hidden pockets of special designs as well. So the last stop today in the city tour is a brewery. Yeah, Le Braston where they brew a uh, very special beer that is called La Cuvée des Trolls. <laughs> it's very pub here. It's the first place that I've been, where I've been drinking in Louvain-la-Neuve. I was a little bit young, younger at that time. Uh, I was still in secondary school. At that time, uh, they only brew here uh, La Cuvée des Trolls, so only one beer was brewed here, since they have tried to brew other beers. So I think they brew four beers now here. So that is it for the first day experience in Louvain, La Neuve, Belgium. And next up for us is an event of the Night of the Choirs, which is going to be a lot of live music and pretty cool, I think even some fireworks. So stay tuned for that, because it's coming up right now. And we have made it to Village Abbey. This is looking very cool. It is sort of like an old uh, ruined village. And this evening is uh, one night of two nights, which only happens once a year, where they have live music with five different choirs. And I think it is gonna be very, very cool. So uh, time for a good atmosphere, some nice lights and some ruins and some good live music. of the choirs is definitely much bigger of an event than we had anticipated. It looks like there's at least a couple thousand people here, which is amazing. So very, very much looking forward to when it gets a bit darker and the lights turn on and we get some really cool aspects on these old buildings. But look at this. And the night of the choirs is over. It is about 12.30 p.m. and that was very cool, especially the Ville's Abbey ruins and this whole area 
definitely a great venue for live music and for events overall. So tomorrow is a big day for us. We're doing an adventure park in the morning and then we're exploring the eastern part of the Walloon Brabant province. So day number two in Belgium starts right now. Shame.